This one asks us to use properties of logarithms to evaluate several examples. We only need a few properties of logarithms. There's actually several more, but let's bring up the first few properties, which will give us enough to work these examples here. And let's talk a little bit about where these come from. Uh, if we look at the first one, we have log base b, so this is any base b, log base b of 1 equals 0. Well, if we, if we don't think about the equals 0 for a minute, and we just ask, b to what power gives us 1? Well, b to the 0 gives us 1. So it makes sense that log base b of 1 is indeed 0. A similar approach works on the second property. We have log base b of b equals 1. OK, well, if we just didn't look at the equals 1 part and we said b to what power gives us b? b to what power gives us b? Well, b to the 1 gives us b. So then log base b of b must be 1. Right, we, get our, we can evaluate logs using this method here. Similar thing for the third property. Log base b of b to the x equals x. So that's like asking b to what power gives us b to the x? Well, b to the x gives us b to the x, so the answer here must be x, which indeed it is. The last property is a little bit weird. We have b to the power of log base b of x equals x. For this, we have to remember one fact from our section on inverse functions. f of f inverse of x always gives us x back. In fact, it worked in two different ways. We could also have done f inverse of f of x always gives us x back. Right? The function and the inverse undo each other. So what we've done here, remember we can define f of x to be b to the x. And that's how we got our logarithm was it was simply the inverse function. So then f inverse of x would be log base b of x. So then looking at these two, if I were to put the entire logarithmic function, the entire inverse function, into x in f of x, this would be f of f inverse of x. OK, so we're, we're putting this entire log into the x in b to the x. So that gives us b to the log base b of x. But we know that when we do f of f inverse of x, we always get x back. So this must be x back again. That's where this x comes from in this property. And notice the same technique would have worked in the property before it. Right Here we have b of x is our f of x. And log base b is f inverse of x. OK, but when we plug in f of x into f inverse of x, we always get x back. That's this property down here. And indeed, we get x back for both of these. So this fact here works for both of these two properties, really. Enough with the theory. Let's get on to the examples. For A, we have log base 6 of 6 squared. OK, well, I'm going to use this property here, this third one, that says log base b of b to the x equals x. Well, this is the thing here. The b is 6, so log base b of b to the x, whatever's left up here, gives us the answer to this log. Well, 2 is in the exponent, so this one evaluates to 2. There's our answer there. Let's try b. We have 7 to the power of log base 7 of 4. OK, so this is, the, this is this weird one here, down here, this fourth one. b to the power of log base b of x always gives us x back. So here we have 7 to the power of log base 7 of 4 will always give us 4 back. Just following that property, in this case, our x is 4, so we get 4 back. These kinds of problems look very strange and a little off-putting, but they're really not that bad if you just use that property. Let's look at C. We have log base 2 of 2. So we have a base and then the same thing inside the logarithm as our base. 
let's look at here at this second property down. Anytime you have log base B of B and they match, you automatically get one back. So our answer here is one. So you want to memorize these properties of logarithms because you see how fast it is to use them to evaluate these, these kinds of problems. If you don't have them memorized, then you have to do all this work to derive them, and that could take way more time and effort than really one should have to spend on these kinds of problems. So set them to memory. We'll add more in the upcoming sections, and they'll be useful throughout the rest of this course and beyond.